Hello, trickies and trickers. Well, it's another day of Star Trek Timber, so let's start our reviews off with clues. The Enterprise investigates a Tari class star system with a single class M planet that was pegged up on a long range sensor scan near the, <coughs> the game Nebula. As they approach the planet, the ship encounters a wormhole, and everyone, and everyone except to attend the commander data briefly loses consciousness. When the crew regains consciousness, some of the ship's sensors suggest it has been nearly a day since the wormhole encounter. <coughs> but data says they were only out for, for moments, and the ship's instruments were affected by the wormhole. Captain Picard opts to send a probe into the system to await further harm to the ship as per, to the ship per data suggestion. The probe reports only the presence of a frozen gas giant instead of the class M planet before. Again, data attributes this to the effects of the wormhole. <coughs> as the ship moves away from the system, the crew began to find evidence that does not support Data's claims that they were unconscious for a few moments. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Kreiser has found moss samples have grown fully in that time, and has found that Worf, complaining of a sore wrist, actually had his wrist broken and reset by a medical professional. Picard began to, su to suspect Data's claims, and believes the rest of the crew suffering from missing time syndrome. Picard confronts Data on the issue, but Data cannot provide a rational answer. <coughs> Further studies of the crew by Dr. Crusher show that Data's explanations are impossible. They have lost a day from the wormhole encounter, and there is evidence that Data tampered with the probe's readings to mask, to mask the Class M planet. Picard recognizes that Data's actions may be for the protection of the Enterprise, but orders the ship to return to the system. When they near the Class M planet, ship's counselor Troy is taken over by a mysterious energy pulse from the system and starts to speak to the crew with a different voice. The entity that has taken over Troy informs Picard that his plan has failed, and that their people will prepare to destroy the Enterprise. Again with this mysterious entities? Er. <clears throat> Picard learns from Data and the entity that they are in the space of the Paxons, a highly advanced but very xenophobic race who have kept themselves hidden by firing a stun beam at any ship near that nears their system and then moving it away. Crews of such ships normally associated with the effects of a wormhole. However, in the case of the Enterprise, the sunbeam did not affect Data. Data had reviewed the crew as the Paxons were attempting to move the ship, forcing a physical encounter that led to Worf's wrist being broken. Picard was able to offer the Paxons a deal as to attempt to conceal their previous meeting, using a memory wiping technology for the Paxons to forget their encounters with them, and ordered Data to behave as he did to protect the ship. Picard was able to convince the Paxton in control of Troy that the previous plan failed because they left too many clues on the Enterprise that piqued human curiosity to solve the mystery, and that if the Enterprise vanishes, it will cause others to come investigate. <coughs> the crew of the Enterprise, with help of the Paxons, worked together to completely eradicate any possible clues. Once completed, the crew is stunned again, and the ship moves away from Paxton's space. When the crew arrives this time, they accept Data's explanations without question and continue on their mission. That's good. So I mean, let's get uh, similar to a episode of Red Dwarf here. In their book, The Red Dwarf Program Guide, Chris Howarth and Steve Lyons point out the uncanny similarities between Clues and the Red Dwarf episode, Thanks for the Memory, which aired on UK television nearly, nearly two and a half years earlier. Howarth and Lyons note that the, that the American show, quote, as the cats waking up to find that time has passed of which they have no memory. Despite the resistance of a technical crew member, they attempt to find out what has happened, but they learn they, they were better off knowing. One of them even has a broken limb. That's very true. So far I say this is a pretty intriguing episode, and it's actually kind of interesting in a bit. I mean, in a way. So overall, I give clues for Warp Course out of five. Well, join me a bit as we take a look at First Contact, the episode, not the movie, so yeah. <laughs> so, until then, live long and prosper, everybody.